Okay, so the recording ended while I was reading, but you could uh, pause it and read for yourself. Apparently, the Megascope Crystal, by scrutinizing it, it said it could contain priceless information about Philippa's doings. So, obviously Geralt knew that. I didn't, so I didn't know what was up with the crystal, so I went ahead and handed it over to him. Upon gleaning that information, though, I decided, I think, maybe a better idea not to. Because, I mean, I can tell him that I think she died, but even if, like, even if he believes me, and I give him the crystal, and they figure out what she was doing, I'm sure he'll be able to figure out from that that she didn't die, so I'll, in effect, have done nothing. So, uh... Yeah, I still, like I said, I'm not exactly trying to protect her, but it doesn't mean I want to turn her in either. So, let's see if I can get him to believe that I just don't have anything. See if he'll leave it at that. No, but you have my word. <laughs> your word? You give me your word? Sorry, but Eilhart herself taught me to doubt everyone, especially their word. So we've naught to talk about. Farewell. Huh. <clears throat> Alright. I guess that's all there was to that. Gosh, I find it really hard to believe he... Like, it seems like... Radovid seems like somebody who's fiercely intelligent. Like, don't get me wrong, obviously he's some kind of insane, but he seems, he strikes me as the type who's really, like, ruthlessly cunning as a ruler. So I find it hard to believe that he would just believe me. He would just, like, take my word at that. I mean, obviously he didn't entirely just take my word, but, you know, just be like, huh, a fitting end for a witch. Like, really? You're just gonna believe that? I mean, I'm glad he did, but... Out of a sense of duty, or perhaps a desire to receive at least part of the promised reward, Geralt returned to Radovid to tell him what he had found in Philippa's hideout. The king was clearly not pleased with the outcome of the investigation, and dismissed the Witcher. As for compensation for his trouble, sadly, the Witcher had to go without. Well, I was supposed to be doing it as a favor anyway, I suppose. And, if missing out on some coin... Is the cost for, I don't know, I guess maybe finding Philippa for myself, or keeping her from him, then I will take that cost. Now then, there's gotta be, I don't think, yeah, don't have to worry about any of these, but contracts, gotta be some contracts around here. Where's this one? Way down there. That's right, Honorton, not Oxford. Missing brother, that's far away. Creature from Oxenford Forest. Dang it, that one's still... Urgh. Yeah, of course, that's the one that's right there. There's something else though, right? The Oxenford drunk? I thought there was another Oxenford one. Hmm. Well, what's this one? Oh, right next to me. Oxenford the Academy may be my alma mater, but Oxenford the town, that is where I received my true education. The experiences I had in its inns and alleyways often left me a trembling wreck, overwhelmed by the majesty of the world opening up before me. Sadly, during the Third Nilfgaardian War, the town became a shadow of its former self, and the few who remained in its inns and alleyways risked not enlightenment, but death at the hands of a, of a mysterious murderer. Geralt, bless his heart, decided to investigate the matter, suspecting that the responsible party might be a monster. Can we, uh find the contract on that one. 
Is it considered, uh, would it be under quest books? Yep. Do 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 Let's turn the bits. Uh, nope. East of Honorton. Hmm? By the well, white lady, haunted house, monster in Oxenford. By orders of our most magnanimous ruler, King Radovid V, any itinerant monster slayer reading this notice is obliged to abandon any currently unresolved contracts immediately and devote himself to tracking and slaying this monster. The beast in question has befouled the cradle of human intellect, the city within whose territory lies the oldest of academies of learning, namely Oxenford. The swordsman who puts an end to its criminal doings will be rewarded with the king's full generosity. Alright. I believe that is what we're looking for. Hey, old buddy. Hmm. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plough in war to win. I haven't got the time to clean gutters. Alright, a contract is a contract. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our saw bones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. The hell? Why is it saying that it's over leveled to me now? Oh, whatever. Screw it. Tired of being underleveled for freaking contracts. <laughs> I took out a basilisk that was too high, supposedly too high level for me to take on, so I'm sure I'll do fine for this one as well. I'm preparing, as I say that, to eat my words. <laughs> Busting out the butter and seasonings. I'm sure they will be delicious. Everyone to me! To me! I'm trying to bite a piece of skin off my lip. Oh. Anything to sell the innkeep? Uh, not really. I don't understand. Like, why are these in other? Does that mean they're not gonna be part of any other quest? Like, does it mean they're effectively not quest items anymore? Hmm. Yeah, got it. <laughs> it's like, if that's the case, that's kind of crappy, because I was thinking I was going to show this to someone, but apparently I can't, actually. I mean, I guess I can assume that I was supposed to show it to Triss. And why do I still have this? Why is this under quest? Whatever, I don't know. 
Hello, woman. Oh, will you buy a round for a victim of the beast? Tell me about the monster, how you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. You look familiar. <laughs> and she looks like Little Red. I'm pretty sure that's the same facial model. Which is a little disappointing, but eh, whatever. Eh, I mean... I don't exactly want to just feed her addiction or whatever, but... I also don't have to be a dick about it, so... See, I'd rather you stayed sober while we talked. Bought yourself that bottle later. Have it your way. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. The dark. Couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the enemy's skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! <laughs> okay. Well, that's that. Called her name and grabbed the hem of her skirt. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, this is the site? Prince Proximo picked a oh. peck of oh, excuse me. <gasps> Wait, what? What? Two? Okay, there she is. <laughs> well, well, the witcher. What the? Um, are we just going to pretend that we're not hearing that? The bracelet, pretty worn. Silver under the gilding, too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it, most likely. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we do believe her. I mean, that's too big for any human's wrist. Are we still hearing it? Yeah, dude, what the... There's clearly something there. What the... Huh. <laughs> That's glitched. Maybe that noise was also glitched, who knows. Oh man, this is bad. I already feel my already feel my eyelids getting heavy. And I don't wanna be stopping before another hour or two. What in the world? They're just 